Hi, my name is Matt. I work in the support department here at Jernix. Today I'll be walking you through a basic overview of reporting in Jernix Timesheet. I'll be showing you this information in Jernix version 8.9. If you're running something older, please contact your sales rep about updating. The basic steps and the basic information should be about the same though, no matter what version you're on. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, here we are on the sitemap page. If you come over here and look at the left hand side, you'll see an area called reports that contains a lot of different information that is going to help us in the area of reports. We have standard reports, scheduled reports, saved reports, system reports, rate reports, and report link exchange. Uh, today we're going to be covering just the first several of these in the overview that we're doing. Standard reports is where you're going to go to do a majority of your reporting. These are our basic set of reports that we have supplied for you within the product. There's about 29 of them if you're an administrator. Different user role types get different sets of reports. So what we're going to do, is I'm going to go ahead and show you all 29 of them. So we'll come over here and click on view all and there you go. All 29 of the reports. So all of these reports are ready to run right now. You can you can go in and make certain uh, specifications such as uh, you can change the date range and other information but right now if you wanted to run a timesheet report for this uh, this current week that we're on you could just go ahead and click run report and boom there you go you have a report uh, for this week same thing with all of these other reports alright so as far as other areas there's scheduled reports what you can do is you can take um, other reports that you have in your standard reports list that you can see through this list right here and you can go ahead and set those to run on a specific schedule so you could uh, set up say this actual versus estimate report to run you want the output to be um, let's say HTML regular you give your na uh, report a description you set your you would schedule your type how many times how often you want it to run if it's going to be a custom daily weekly bi-weekly so on and so forth you can set the time that you want it to run and you can set any other specifications down here then you click the schedule new report button and it sets up that schedule and the next time it hits the time that it's supposed to run it'll go ahead and run that report then once the report is run it will put the report output here in your saved reports section. Right now there aren't any because I haven't scheduled any reports to go to saved reports, but if there were you would see a listing of the different reports we had in the system. There's different options that you can do here. You can view the saved reports, you can delete the saved reports, you can rename saved reports, you can copy these saved reports to people, or you can email these saved reports to people. System reports are another very important part of the reporting engine within Jernix Timesheet. It allows you to get detailed information on the different objects within your Jernix Timesheet system, such as users, projects, groups, and so on and so forth. You can see the entire listing here. So if you want to report on users, you can do any individual object over here in the Show Me box, or if you want all of the detail on the users, select the users, and then you can click on Run Now, and you'll get a report on all of your users' basic information. You can see their name, their login name, their roles, and all of the other information that's set up for those specific users. And that's your basic overview of reporting. Thank you very much for watching.